Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Hit the button, baby. When black holes collide, baby. Who's ready to get their black hole freak on? We are over at CNN, the leader in news from people named with C, N, and N in their name. Black holes are heading for a massive collision, says Astronomer by Todd Leopold, updated September 22nd, 2015. And if you're watching this video, that means an asteroid did not kill us, and that is goodness, people. Though, I'm sure a lot of people are sad because there seem to be a lot of doom junkies out there. I don't think the world's going to end anytime soon, so uh, maybe pick up a hobby, learn a new skill. Okay, CNN, a really, really big bang not due for 100 millennia may help astronomers test one of the central theories of physics, according to one of the authors of a new paper. Two black holes in Virgo are heading for a massive collision. That's weird. Implications of their study could provide a test for an Einstein theory. That's weird. We've got two black holes colliding in a virgin. Two black holes in Virgo are headed for a massive collision. Columbia University astronomer Zoltan... Hey man, Zoltan, hey man. Man, I like to hang out with that dude just so I could always go, hey man, isn't Zoltan the bad guy from Flash Gordon? Should we trust the bad guy from Flash Gordon? Disseminate this information at your own caution. Well, that dude said it in a Columbia news release posted on the Science Daily. Hey, hey man, hey man, is co-author of a paper in the journal Nature examining flashes coming from a quasar. The flashes, according to hey man, and his authors and his co-authors, Columbia's Daniel De Razio and David Shiminovic, are originating from a pair of black holes orbiting each other in quasar parental guidance 1302-102. It's about 3.5 billion light years away. That's what they guesstimate. They haven't tested it yet. It's not like anybody flew out there and it took them 3.5 billion years to get there, right? The two black holes are about a light week or two apart, less than 200 billion miles. That's far closer than Earth is to its nearest star, Proxima Centauri, which is more than four light years, or 24 trillion miles, from our planet. Alanis Morissette, ironically, keeping in mind that a di keeping in mind keeping keeping in mind that a light year is the distant. This is a hard sentence to say. Keeping in mind that a light year is the distance light travels in a year. What astronomers are seeing in PG 1302-102 actually occurred when life had just, just emerged on Earth. That's what I like about scientists, they know freaking everything. In any event, a man and his colleagues believe the pair, the pair of black, of black holes will collide in about 100,000 years, which is virtually tomorrow in cosmic time. Moreover, the holes are incredibly large. That's what he said. I apologize, that joke was uncalled for. Combined, the size of a billion suns. Ooh. Combined, the size of a billion suns, the New York Times said. Imagine the sunburn you would get from a billion suns. You'd need some SP block a billion, I guess, or a bi 12 billion. Hey man, the Razio and Shimin Ovik were building on research by some Caltech astronomers who first noticed that the two black holes were in a tight, quickly spinning orbit. Hey, you guys got any photographs to back this crap up anywhere, man? You know, here, can we see this? Can we see these two black holes in a tight, quickly spinning orbit? I would like to see black holes tight spinning quickly. The implications are profound. Professional astronomers say the implications are profound and also found by pros. But you see, astronomers won't have to wait 100,000 years for PG-1302-102 to do its thing. Thanks to the knowledge gained in the study, including ways to spot other black hole pairs, they can focus on other binaries and have hopes of detecting a collision in about the next 10 years. Okay, this math is tripping me up. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, such a crash should release monumental gravitational waves. Should release monumental gravitational waves. Monumental gravitational waves. Waves that have yet to be detected. The detection of gravitational waves lets us probe the secrets of gravity and test Einstein's theory in the most extreme environment in our universe. Black holes. Hey, if we've only witnessed like 0.01% of our universe, how do we know it's the most extreme environment out there? Guys, come on, use your head. Said Dorazio, a Columbia graduate student and the study's lead author. Getting there is the holy grail of our field. Can I see some photographs please all right so that's fascinating but you know what is interesting remember when astronomers said the g2 cloud was going to collide with our sagittarius a black hole and then nothing happened 
I remember this because my girlfriend talks about it all the time. She wakes up saying, G2 Cloud. She goes to bed saying, G2 Cloud. And I'll be like, what do you want for lunch? And she'll be like, G2 Cloud. I'll be like, baby, I think we need to go to the doctor. I'm just kidding. It's really cute, but she was fascinated by G2 Clouds. But what I'm trying to say is nothing really happened when the G2 Cloud went into the black hole. I'm sure my girlfriend and I will cover that someday. Anyway, and there are two G2 Clouds. There are two G2 things, which is weird. Anyway, God bless everybody. Ain't learning about black holes fun? I guess all this article saying is two black holes may collide one day, and then we are going to see what is going to happen. Who shall win in this contest of fighting black holes, dueling black holes next in your universe? Dueling black holes next in your cosmos. Right, everybody. Just keeping you posted. And apparently none of these guys are related to NASA, so I don't have to have the people in my comments saying, Everything NASA says is a lie. Why do you believe NASA? And you know, just because I read NASA reports doesn't mean I believe NASA, man. Also, my dad, like when I was two, he was like, trust no one. And I was three, and he was like, trust no one. I was 15, he was like, clean up your room and trust no one. You know, so I don't trust anybody. I just like to read between the lines. Okay, I've said it. I've said enough. Possibly even too much. Talk to you cats soon. Adios. Thor News presents... Here's the whole story, man. They're big, they're blue, they're stars, they're far away, and the two are becoming one. With sciences like magic and magic tricks, astronomy is much like Hogwarts, a school of wizardry and science craft. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. I'm going Coronal Cocoa Puffs. Crazy. Okay. Woo woo! <laughs> Stay cool.